in Mexico join NAFTA The country wanted to modernize But just what will come after Insurgent rebels took the South The presidential candidate was killed Someone said there's like 22 million people in this city. That's a lot. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But do we need any more? Seems like everyone in the United States is talking about people in their 20s having no direction, no business sense. Just trying to have a good time hanging out. Slacking. The word is to slack. Still be having really quick. Anyway, doesn't seem to be the case here. There's a lot of people who are looking for opportunities. I know so many people my age that got killer jobs, making killer bucks. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, I was always told that you're supposed to graduate and be without a job, screwing around, living off your parents, or attending bar, working at a restaurant. I, I mean, it's just like something to be in a case here. See, I have my friend Kim, for example. She works at Harley Davidson, manages four stores. Let's meet her. I think you'll get a kick at her. She's pretty fun. Let's go. She lives next door. I'm, I just moved. Harley Davidson. That's where I work. People say, how? Why? Explain it to me. And I say, random. Um, could never speak Spanish. Straight C's, brought down my GPA, no one in my family can. So I came to Mexico. At Harley, I started out with uh, sort of a no job, then it sort of turned out into inventory. And now I'm sort of like, I guess, uh, pathetically assistant director. I imp take care of import and export, manage about four stores, and uh, choose a clothing line. The one thing I notice is the higher you get, in Mexico, in a Mexican company, the higher you get up the corporate ladder, the less you have to work. It's amazing. Like, when I first got here, I had to work like 60 hours a week. Then as I move up, it's more like 50. And then my boss, hell, he only works like 20. I think that's the way it works, and uh, that's why I sort of want to stay here in Mexico. Wacky. Anyway, then there's my roommate, Steve. Come on, idiot! What are you doing? This man is constantly looking for opportunity. You know, when I first met him, let's think back. Yes, when I first met him, he was doing this multi-level marketing scheme for Prime America Insurance. See, he got this whole team under him, and it grew to be like 100, 200 people and they were going to sell insurance and he would get a cut of every single policy. But they never came into Mexico, so he had 200 people under him twiddling thumbs. There went that opportunity. Oh yes, and then there were the cup of noodles. See, he has this friend out of, out of uh, Colorado, Chris Toad. And him and Toad were going to sell cup of noodles down here. See, get a shipment in through Laredo probably a brand that was already being distributed but they'd work around so not deal with the distributor and sell themselves making a pretty penny but but I haven't seen any soup yet 
Ah, yeah, then there was... Make sure you ask them about the coke, too. If you can send down to Laredo any coke, we can buy it in cash also. Good prices for, for coke. In the cans or the... Well, the cans, yeah. Maybe and then talk with him about other diversions. Just say we've got a contact that we're working through. Don't mention my name. Yeah, don't mention my name at all. You know, I just don't wanna don't wanna don't mention my name. I'm feeling lazy, taking it slow on a Sunday night. I'm feeling low and I'm feeling right. Sometimes I wish I could be out in the country, feeling free, but I'll stay here in the town. I'm looking up, but I'm feeling down. You had the manual focus on? I had the manual focus on. Is yeah. that possible? Oh man, I hope this came out. We can only pray. It's oh. a masterpiece. What about the idea of a total planetary holocaust? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. This country may sink. I don't buy this tequila effect that all the countries are connected. You U.S. citizens, you're safe. Don't you worry. It's me. I'm down here fighting this thing out. Me. Me and my roommate, Selmo. Are you talking about Mr. Selmo, the infamous outlaw investor from the United States? That's the beauty about Mexico. You got these weird dudes that come down here with some kind of shady past. But they come down here and they're successful, man. They just kind of lay low. That's what Selmo's doing. Nice guy. many academic types here in Mexico. Seems like the kind of Americans who come down here, they're more practical, see? See? They're not your academic. I mean, that's not bad or good or anything. I'm just making a statement. We're on Pachuca Street right now, but I live on, on Vicente Suarez. But we're heading to my friend's house. Wouldn't you like to meet him? Let's go. Here, hold on. Let's wait for the cars to go by so the cameraman doesn't get hit. <laughs> ah, it's a lovely morning. You can breathe the fresh air. Oh my gosh. Traffic. Problem. Uh, okay. Anyway, here in Mexico City, it's not often that you get a good clean day to get some clean air into your lungs. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Alright, we got it. We're gonna visit John, John Leonard. He, uh, he's the director of the state office of Arkansas. And, and Hugh, and Kate, and some of their friends. But I'll tell you, that John guy, he really likes garbage. I'll bet you, no matter what we do today, he's gonna talk about garbage. You know, a lot of people come down here to do business, but I think he came down here really to just look at garbage. Oh my gosh, I'm burning myself. Let's go. Hey John, can I come in? processed foods to Mexico. Oh, you're going to have to explain that to me. We cooperated on it. It's a, it's an export guide. 
Well, I'm into my third printing, but uh, each printing is only five copies. Um, so I think we'd uh, I think we'd like to uh, I think we'd like to sell a few more. And how many months has this been on the market? It's been on the market for about six months. But uh, but we're expecting uh, to uh, increase sales with this peso devaluation. Uh, I think there'll be a lot more companies interested in selling their food products uh, now that they're 40 percent more expensive in Mexico. Let me show you the barbecue. All right. It's a Weber. Um, I nice. think we've only used it once, but uh, we obviously didn't clean it. I think somehow we were expecting the maid to take care of that. Well, what are you doing here in Mexico, if I may ask? Um, besides uh, being sort of a passive, a passive observer to uh, garbage collection, um, I also um, I also uh, consult uh, companies um, that are thinking about selling garbage, uh, waste management companies. Okay. So, uh, why are there so many Americans here in Mexico? You know, our age. Oh. Uh, I think that's easy because they're losers. At least uh, I know I am. Um, people come here uh, from the United States because they can't make it there. Oh, man. I don't think uh, I don't think anybody's ashamed to say that. At least among among the people I know. You know, I, I'd like to. I, I feel. Like, you've just hit something personal and I wanted to confess to that, that I'm a loser. Yeah.